What's up guys, NJ here bringing you everything strategic with an updated cruiser video. Let's get started. All right, let's start off with the Chimera. The Chimera is a good starter ship, but you're really, for its damage, but you're really going for the heavy cannon Chimera for its amazing damage output. It's a very great ship. Uh, the C-type is very unique. You might not run it, but it does uh, reduce critical damage it receives by 40%, both for its subsystems and for its normal hit points. So it has its, uh, you know, little piece there. It's middle row, though, so it's not going to be tanking front line. Middle row, so more tanking for indirect fire, maybe for your back row cruisers or something like that. The uh, light cone with all the updates that happen, um, I've seen some decent anti-air damage from even just the base light cone. It does have its flagship ability, uh, which is kind of nice. You need three of them though, uh, but it allows all mid-row uh, ships to uh, have anti-air row coverage that rather than just protecting themselves. And it has its stackable plus 30% hit rate buff. That stacks, by the way. I prefer the Hussar um buff because it's only six command points versus 20 command points here but nevertheless the b type which is the anti-aircraft type sadly with all the updates it's still not that great um i have to verify in the missile interception stuff um it still will dish out anti-air damage um but it's not it's really not that great it it's just it just isn't um, I'm going to verify, uh, hopefully I'll have a missile interception video since I unlocked this variant recently. I'm going to try and verify uh, how the missile interception upgrades on it work. There's basically three different systems. I already verified in the past, um, I believe it was on the test server or something like that, that the missile system, actually it was uh, after that pilot server, but the, uh, the missile system, weapon system on it, even though the range for the anti-air is row, its missile interception only protects itself. Yeah, sad. And I think that's something people thought the devs fixed. And, they, and if it was supposed to be fixed, uh, it's not fixed. Uh, but if it wasn't supposed to be fixed, just letting you know, FYI, it only protects self for that. The UAVs do can get uh, missile interception. Got to verify that. As well as moving it to front row, which I think is crazy. But anyways, I want to test it out and find out for you guys and get a video out about that eventually down the road. Might be a while, though. The C-Type, great damage for doing damage to, I would say, any normal capital ships. Frigates, destroyers, cruisers. Very good. The Callisto, excellent for wiping out cruisers with its anti-cruiser strat. And now, with people running battle cruisers like crazy because it's becoming more of a meta, and I'm, I'm actually glad because... Just with how the game meta was set up, you know, there wasn't a great need for running battle cruisers for the most part. But now there is for running this guy even more so. Um, and it's a great damage dealing ship, especially with his anti battle cruiser strat that focuses on battle cruisers. Very, 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 very good. And the C type, if I wanted to troll you or people in the local, I would tell you that you should, everyone should be running this C-type. You know, if anyone tells you to run this C-type, two scenarios. They're either A, they're trolling you, or B, they don't know what they're talking about. Yes, you see, there is some anti-aircraft UAVs. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. Um, the only thing that'd be worth it is this blueprint does save you on tech points, and it is cheaper to build. Uh, but in my mind, I want the most firepower possible. The Jaeger is a excellent Corvette carrier, especially for building anti-super capital strategies uh, to knock out super capital ships with its strategy on Corvettes. The Jaeger Heavy Cannon Type B, yeah, especially with the new meta that this, this now is with battle cruisers being in, this, no, no, don't even bother. Like, even before, I was like, it's not worth it. Maybe, maybe a good filler ship in the past, but I... I just don't think it's worth it. The Predator, A, B, and C type, they're relatively all the same. You'd run each one for a special purpose or role. You run the A type for that strategic strike range. To, it has a pretty, pretty big one with the upgrades. Uh, 
Uh, of course, each one of these have the anti-super capital strat. You could run two variants, one with the anti-super capital ship strat and one without it. Ever think of that? Uh, the B-type, you're really just going to be running this um, to boost, like in the heavy cruiser fleet, to boost that hit rate. Do not use it to boost your fighter hit rate. Use the uh, anti-air Hussar or the light cone with the stackable 30% hit rate buffs versus fighters. You know, if you were doing it for that other reason, I would say uh, for the fighter uh, hit rate buff, I'd say you're better off running the C-type. Which, fun little final detail on the Predator, small detail, the B-type and C-type are cheaper to build than the A-type. Now with the IO, each one is specialized, as I said in my first video. This A-type is specialized to focus on large ships. By the way, it's also cheaper. Uh, the B-type, although more expensive, does have a little more, a little more survivability with its anti-small strat. Um, to focus on small ships. So it's best designed for small ships. Then the C-type is best versus structures doing amazing siege damage, melting things away, melting all those amps away. Goodbye. We got the cast, you know. Very beginning of the game, don't have a lot of bl blueprints. What I would say is just try and wait to get to the cast before uh, really trying to, you know, have a solid fleet. Uh, you're going to want these casts. For a beginner ship, um, the B type is a actually surprisingly very good blueprint. It's got an anti frigate strat, and even though it's uh, you know it basically has a giant rail gun on it, uh, you can boost the hit rate uh, with the frigate strat. It's basically 60% bonus hit rate versus frigates and 30% bonus hit rate versus destroyers. It has a low tech point investment cost as well. Not very expensive. Um, it doesn't have as much hit points as the generic version or any of the other variants. Uh, so it's a, it's, it's a little light on that for its survivability, uh, but it is a very good blueprint. Um, you know, not fantastic. Like, you know, might be a good filler or, or, you know, you don't have a lot of blueprint, but you unlock this. It has a very good use. Yeah, just avoid this one. Uh, okay, this is now the best support ship. It is mid-row, though. But this is a phenomenal ship. If you ran, let's say, 12 of these, and you had a Spears or ST-59's front row to tank, and you're trying to do that super healing, I believe with 12 of these... If you, if, I don't know if that's practical, but with 12 of these, I want to say you could be healing about 400 to 450,000 damage per minute uh, with 12 of them. Uh, it might not be exact, but somewhere within that range, 400 to 450 with 12 of them uh, healing a maxed armor or maxed healing buff ST-59 or spear. The KCCPV, mmm, mmm. Yeah, just for beginners. Uh, I, you know, I'd say if uh, you, you got this, it's a filler ship for beginners. Uh, the B-type is better than the A-type. Uh, most likely, you probably won't be running this, though. Uh, the C-type does have uh, a place where it can do very good siege damage. It's got great siege damage potential. Um, but I would run the C-type over A and B. I usually run these for the D-type that... For the fighters, uh, you can either earlier in the game run your Vitus bombers in these guys, uh, or you can run the anti corvette strat, especially if you don't have a ton of blueprints and you want to knock out those corvettes running Sandrakes or running Strix. If, like, you don't have like the prime anti uh, basically anti corvette uh, build or setup, um, it's, it can be useful there. There is a place for it. All right. Oh, wait, I got one more blueprint for you. Hold on. Here we go. Almost forgot because it is a forgettable ship, unfortunately. Uh, the Connemore Chaos, this is this is a cheap build for the A-type. Um, it's more of, I would say, a filler if you don't have a lot of blueprints. Um, and then, you know, the B-type, extremely expensive, very long to build. It does have one plus. It does extremely good damage against large ships unfortunately if you come across a fleet composition that has a frigate front row with high evasion or a high evasion small ship front row they are going to suffer greatly they really are anyways k 
keep thinking strategic.